everybody. Welcome to the channel. Hope you're all doing well out there. Today I am making some deviled eggs. And um, I'm just going to start with however many eggs that you want. I've got about 10 in there, I think. And I'm just going to get those boiling. I'm going to make just enough water to cover them. You just want to put those on high heat till they boil. And I let mine, when I have this many, I let them boil for about 20 minutes. And I'm going to use some dill pickle that I've chopped up. And I'm also going to pour some of the juice in there, about two tablespoons full. And I'm using the Mount Olive kosher dills today. And like I said, I just uh, sliced them up, chopped them up, and put them in the bowl. I just want those to get to a really good boil. It's fogging up my uh, <laughs> my camera lens again. <laughs> and I got about 15 minutes left on those. And while that's working, I'm also going to be working on um, some zucchini and squash and um, hot sausage. And I also will have a video for that. Alright, got my eggs all boiled. I'm just going to pour cold water. This is cold, cold water. It stops the cooking process really quick and it also causes the egg to shrivel up inside and it makes it a lot easier for you to peel the eggs. Alright, so I'm going to try to do this on camera. <laughs> I don't know how it's going to work. I'm trying to hold my camera and crack eggs, so I might have to turn the camera off to, to get these eggs peeled. We'll see what we can do. <laughs> yeah, I'm not, that's not going to work. <laughs> Alright, so we got our eggs all peeled. I've sliced some in half. Got them over there. i um, just going to peel the uh, yellow, the yolk, out of there and put it in your bowl with your pickles. And you can do this with a spoon or you can just kind of mash it out with your fingers. There's Lily. Still pickle. <laughs> she loves dill pickle. She loves anything. Anything I give her, she pretty much loves. Alright, got our eggs all cleaned out. And we're just going to kind of mash the yolk up with a fork in the bowl. And I'm going to use about a tablespoon of uh, spicy brown mustard, a tablespoon of relish. This is sweet pickle relish. And I'm going to use about a tablespoon of mayonnaise. I'm not a huge mayonnaise eater. I don't really like mayonnaise on anything, but I don't mind it in my deviled eggs or my coleslaw and things like that, as long as it's not overpowering. All right, so we've got our eggs ready. And like I said, you can use as many as you want to. You just kind of have to uh, change the recipe up just a little bit. And I'm going to use some holy garlic. This is a garlic pepper and a little bit of salt. And I'm just going to put a little bit of a dusting on there here in a little bit. So we'll go ahead and put our brown mustard on there. We'll put our relish on there. And we'll put our dollop of mayonnaise on there. Now you could use uh, ranch dressing for that if you wanted to or just about anything you wanted to, to to replace the mustard and the mayonnaise. You could even, you could even uh, do something a little special and use some uh, French dressing or, or something like that. Just sprinkle a little bit of pepper and a little bit of salt on there. Stir it up a little bit more. Just want it to be good and um, good and mixed up. And we're going to take a little bit of a teaspoon here, or just a, a you know regular eating spoon. And we're just going to get a little dollop on there, and you're going to put that in the egg. I usually use two hands for this, <laughs> so see if I can do it with holding the camera. There we go. Not too bad. 
Okay, that's pretty good for one-handed. So you're just going to go ahead and fill up all your little eggs. With about a spoonful each. And if you get too much and you end up running out of the yolk, you can always scrape some off the top of the ones that you put too much in. <laughs> a little shake, a little Lily again. <laughs> yep, she's always in the kitchen. My little kitchen stalker. And there you go. Got my deviled eggs. I'm going to have some Devia to go with my deviled eggs and sausage and zucchini and squash. And there we go. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you'll try this recipe and God bless you all and I will see you on the next video. Thanks for watching.